<laughs> oh man, y'all, you can't make this up. What's going on, beautiful people? Machiavelli Mills TV. Now it's time to play a game of 21 questions with your boy. I've done this once before on my channel, but now I got a whole different mix of questions. And I want to do it again now that I've had a, a lot more subscribers than I once had. First question, a moment in my life I didn't believe would happen. For me personally, uh, two moments for real, I'm going to do two. One, I never thought I would be a parent by the age of 18 years old. I had my first, for those who don't know, I was a parent by 18, right? Um, getting ready to exit high school, scary moment, right? Never thought I would be a, a father that young. However, thanks to my parents, like really, like man, my mama, man, for real, like seriously, when I was gone, she got my daughter so much while I was away at school because my daughter um, and her mom was, at, was here in Chicago. I went away to school and I would come home every break you know, to see her, to spend time with her, so on and so forth, and, you know, uh, put in that necessary father time. And then during the summertime, I would have her, like, majority of the whole summers, right? But, man, I'm talking about when I was scared. Like, you got to, like, think about it. Like, I was the kid who did everything right, didn't get in school, didn't drink, didn't smoke. You know, in this gang-banging city, I did not, um, I didn't gravitate to gang activity, none of that. But I, can't, I became a father at a young age, and I really want to thank, you know, my parents, like I say, and, and, and my family for really surrounding around me as a support system and helping me, um, helping me take care of my fatherly duties and transition into that as smooth as possible. There's no smooth way to transition into parenthood at, in any stage, but in particular as a teenager, but my parents were really instrumental. My family, for real, my family. My sisters included, they all wrapped their arms around me and around my daughter, and that helped a lot. Another thing I didn't believe would happen, I didn't think I would be getting a master's degree ever in my life. I never envisioned going to go to grad school, for real. But when I graduated with my bachelor's degree from Mississippi Valley State University, H uh, uh, and HBCU in the Mississippi Delta, the academic oasis of the Mississippi Delta, after I graduated, I didn't have no job lined up, and the department chair, Dr. Samuel, o Dr. Samuel Osunday at NVSU, he recommended that I go to grad school, and then I found out that Arkansas State University was still accepting students. It was late in the game. I got in, and I joined some of my fellow uh, Delta Devils. You know, Delta Devils, that's the mascot for Mississippi Valley State University. I joined my fellow, like two of my fellow Delta Devils at the university in the mass communication program, and then graduated out of that program in two years in 2017. Where are your parents from? My parents are, well, my dad was originally born in Mississippi, Waynesboro, Mississippi, to be specific, but he moved to Chicago at five years old with my grandmother. They got on the, um, man, it was the, 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 they got on the train to come to Chicago during the Great Migration time. My grandmother came to Chicago for better job opportunities for my grandfather and for her, and they've been in Chicago since 1960. My mother... Born and raised in Chicago all her life. She's been in Chicago all her life. My father was born in Mississippi, but moved to Chicago at five. So he's still a Chicago boy at heart. He just got a lot of roots in Mississippi. Uh, favorite places to shop. I am a H&M type of guy. I became a H&M type of guy in, in college. Um, I liked a lot of the different fly, fashionable clothing. And then, you know, I'm a noob. So, you know, I like to wear the little Chelsea boots and the little hats and the little button up shirts and all that type of stuff. I haven't worn them on my channel that much, but I like to dress in that type of ilk. Um, I like Zara. Um, I like um, some things out of Forever 21. It's a, it's a store in Chicago Ridge Mall called the Chicago Locker Room that sells a lot of uh, starter jackets, throwback jerseys, so on and so forth, throwback baseball, football, basketball jerseys, fitted caps. I like them type of stores. Uh, personality or looks, I like both. I like a fine woman who's a sweetheart. So I'm always going to go for both. I like the, I can't lie. I'm a man. Men are visual. I like the way a woman looks. I like a beautiful woman, nice teeth in the mouth, 
all of that. Um, again, just uh, a radiant aura around her. But I like a sweetheart. I don't like no mean ass girl. I don't do that mean girl shit. If you a mean girl, stay your ass over there. Like I said before in the videos prior to this. But yeah, I like both P personality and looks. Any Netflix recommendations? Be real with y'all. I got a Netflix subscription, but I really don't watch that. I don't really watch stuff on that. No, I do like Last Chance You. It's one of my favorite shows ever created on Netflix. Love that. And if you don't know what it is, it's about a lot of it's about a group of kids that are at a JUCO, a junior college. Uh, they're playing junior college athletics, whether it be football or basketball. They had a, they had football seasons at first, then they had some basketball seasons recently. And those kids, a lot of those kids are kids who were playing at Division One institutions prior to they land they landed in some trouble or they had to end up leaving for some for some odd reason. And now. The junior college is their second chance, really their last chance to try to make it to go big at a Division One level. And so it documents their time playing in a junior college, uh, junior college arena, right? So I love that show. Worst personality characteristic, man, I'm a huge procrastinator. And I don't have that good of time management. Sometimes when I'm really doing something I enjoy, I get sucked into it for a while, even making these videos where I have to pull myself away from it. And then, I, you know, I end up, Try, I, ha I have to do something else. Not something that's really dependent on money or my children. I don't play about that. But I may be having to do something else around the house. Wash some dishes. clean, Wash some clothes. Um, I don't know. Clean up a little bit. And I start getting pulled away from that. Because I'm sucked into some this right here. Because a lot of times fathering takes time away from certain hobbies that I enjoy. Playing video games and stuff like that. So when I get a chance to do it, I get sucked in. Uh, who do you look up to, man? I look up. I look up to my mother, my father, and I looked up to my brother a whole lot. My brother is deceased. He got killed when I was 11 years old, right? But I looked up to him a lot. I stuck. He he was nine years older than me, but uh, when we were when I was at my dad's house, I slept in the same room as him. He took me everywhere with him. Loved him to death. I also look up to my cousin who uh, was a professional basketball player overseas for 10 plus years. Uh, we, he went to, he went big East, uh, straight out of high school from St. Rita high school, went to West Virginia university, then ended up transferring to Toledo after my brother got killed to be close to home. And at the time he was at West Virginia, West Virginia was not the powerhouse program that it is today. Um, how tall are you? I am five, nine and a half. Yes. Give me, give me my half. Every time I go to the doctor, I get that half. So five, nine and a half with Tim's on, I'm probably five, ten and a half, but I'm five, nine and a half on a regular day. Favorite memories of growing up in Chicago, man, I love going to the Bud Billiken Parade in the city. That's the back, back to school parade. You can see some of the big, biggest hustlers in the city hustling, selling donuts, selling water, selling candy, selling juice, all of that getting a hustle man experience on. And um, I really enjoyed living. I, we was living on, on 6519 South Minerva as a kid. Me and my mother and my sisters were on the third floor. My godmother and my god brothers, my three god brothers were on the first floor. And we would always be up and down at each other's apartments playing video games on the weekend, playing basketball outside on the, on the little crate in the alley. Uh, we went to summer camps together all the time. In fact, we went to St. Anselm's summer camp uh, back when we were like in third and fourth grade. And then Anthony Davis was at the camp as well. So we used to be playing ball with Anthony a lot. My godmother is really close to Anthony's mother, Irena, Irena Davis. So um, Anthony would be at the camp, him and his twin sister, Antoinette. And we would be playing with Anna. And had, he had game back then. He could hoop very well back then. So it's, And he was always a cool kid. So it's great to see him at where, he at, not where he's at now doing his thing. Um, what did growing up in your city teach me? Growing up in Chicago taught me how to move in a room full of lions, tigers, and bears and how to survive point blank period. I didn't been in rooms with movers and shakers. I didn't lived on blocks with movers and shakers and went to school with them. Had to walk past them to go to the bus stop. And I always... Learn how to, even amongst those individuals, stay firm on my square, stand steadfast, stay steadfast in what I believe in, and always just to stay on my mark and know how to mingle with everybody and know how to adapt in certain situations. Um, something I can't live without. I can't live without my children and my family and music as well. And I don't know, sports, man. I love sports too, but really my children, family, and I love music. Favorite artists. I got a lot of artists that I really enjoy listening to growing up. I love 50. I love Jeezy. I love Tip. I love Outkast. Outkast is my favorite hip-hop group of all time. Um, Love Nas. Love J.D. Kiss. I had a lot of different artists that I really, really like. Um, Where do I see myself in two years? I see myself as my own boss. 
with my YouTube channel booming and flourishing beyond my wildest dreams. And I work for myself and this, this really be a big source of income for myself at some point. Uh, where do you see my, well, who is someone you can tell anything? Really, I can tell anything. I feel like I can tell my dog, true to everything. Um, I can tell my boy, Melvin, uh, everything nearly. Um, yeah, those individuals. Definitely, definitely. And, and my mother as well. Me and her real tight like this. How old are you? Uh, I, I just turned 30 last month. Favorite childhood memory. Okay, man. So my mom is a very festive person. She loves Christmas. And because she put her all into Christmas, I put my put my all into Christmas for my children. And during Christmas time, she would we believed in Santa Claus. She would leave out milk and cookies for Santa Claus. She would make us ice cream, root beer floats, and all of that. And we would help her put up the tree, put ornaments on the tree. We would have Christmas parties and all of that. So I enjoyed that a lot. We would have a game where we would pass do an ornament exchange game with our family. We would read uh, Towards the Night Before Christmas. And every time she said a body part in the story, we would pass it to the left. And whoever, you know, you get what ornament, whatever ornament you got was, that's, that's what you would got to put on your tree. We would do it the night before Christmas, Christmas Eve, right? Um, what do your parents do for a living? My father was a cable contractor. My mom was an account, is an accountant. My father's retired now. But my father was the biggest hustler in Chicago when it came to doing cable. Hooking everybody up throughout the South Side, being a bootleg cable man, doing his thing, making a ton of money, getting busy. Uh, do I smoke or drink? I don't do either. Famous people I would have liked to meet, Muhammad Ali and also Malcolm X, who I'm named after. Favorite places to vacation? I really recently went to Miami, enjoyed Miami a lot, hung out with my boys. I love Vegas. I love Orlando, Florida. I love Disney. I'm a big kid. I like being around, going to Disney World. I like the Mall of America in Minnesota. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the Wisconsin Dales when I was a young boy, too. Favorite college memory, man? I think becoming Mr. Mississippi Valley State University and becoming an ambassador for my school. Why did I choose? Bonus question. It's 22. Why did I choose Kappa Alpha Psi? Well, why wouldn't I choose Kappa? That's a silly question, man. But no, I chose Kappa because they were a group of distinguished young brothers who dressed well, carried themselves well. Um, they were all within the community. A lot of the men during my time at college that helped me matriculate through college and uh, get through, have a smooth college experience were a member of this organization, which motivated me to want to become a brother too and help other young black men.